I truly believe that everything happens for a reason and all outcomes are just as good, so it's fine. But we slept two hours past our alarm today. Plus side, we got extra sleep, so hopefully that's more energy for Carson. The downside is it's two hours later than we should have left. But whatever, it all happens for a reason. Let's go on with the day. We are in, uh, where are we? Sioux City, Iowa, and we're headed to Des Moines, huge city. So this is my first time in Iowa. Let's go drive by some cornfields. are the best. We're on this dirt road and a dude just rolled down and saw the British Columbia license place and was like, how come you come all the way to Podunk, Iowa? Podunk, what a word. Yeah, we're in the middle of cornfields all day. It's a very quiet road. It was drizzling a little bit, but it's not now. It's kind of perfect cycling condition. Actually. Not too hot, a little overcast. The question is, do I go nap? because Carson, I'm not meeting him for like three or four hours. Do I sleep more or edit? I think I should sleep. I just slept for one hour. Changed my clothes. I feel like, well, not quite a new man. I need to eat something. Fill up those little muscles. Naps are awesome and a lifesaver in the long run. But right when you wake up from them and it's like in the middle of the day, you're like, ah. I know it'll help me. I thought the middle of the day, it's still morning, I guess. exciting update I just realized. Carson's doing Riding Raw Across America and as you probably know if you've been watching the vlogs, I'm doing Showerless Across America just because I think it's funny and weird. That's the main reason. And number two is I used to be like obsessed with showering. Like if I worked out, which was like every day, I had to take a shower. And it's such a time drain and then you feel gross when you're not showered and I was like this is not sustainable or even healthy and then I started le learning about the microbiome and listening to podcasts and the whole concept of like live dirty eat clean is really kind of like the healthiest thing for you and I'm not a shower shamer I love to shower I do it every once in a while it can be very healthy so it's not like this is like a strong health stance like I'm very strong that like a plant-based diet is optimal you know for the animals for the planet for your health showering is like whatever if you want to shower all the time shower that's awesome if you don't want to and you think that your life can be enhanced by like the time that you like I have so much more time to do stuff I don't have to worry about showering whatever so I decided to go my longest stint like ever without showering and I think my longest previously was 16 days when I hiked the John Muir Trail honestly which was a long time ago I would jump in lakes and stuff but without like being in a shower cleaning yourself, soap, whatever. And I just hit 19 days on this trip. I haven't showered since Los Angeles. I haven't stepped in a shower since Los Angeles. I'm in Iowa. Uh, so that's awesome. It's been 19 days and I'm feeling great. I've gone in like three rivers. I feel perfect. I feel like I don't ever have to shower again. How many people just like vomited up their smoothie. They're like watching my vlog, eating. Oh, this is so great. Jackson hasn't showered in 19 days. You know what? I decided to go with oatmeal. Save the bananas for Carson. We don't have the most epic stash right now and this looks delicious. I'm gonna go get some hot water. breaking new territory. We've got beet, turmeric, ice, banana, fig, chia seed, cinnamon, water smoothie, and dates. Mm. Oh, good. It's good. New what sensations, new vitamins. Sometimes you pick out a banana, or in this case, a pair of bananas, that just has the most perfect, beautiful, Spotting. That is a work of Mother Earth. Hey, 
found a really nice park in this town and I'm taking kind of a recovery run. I'm still sore from my 10 mile or two days ago. So I'm doing a slow run, probably nine minute mile pace, about five miles. It's beautiful. Whoa, I just got the sensation and vibration that we are approaching the east coast of the United States. This type of climate, you can smell it. It tastes sweet and muggy, like decomposing uh, summer uh, plant debris, and it's wet, it's a little bit humid. I'd say we are out of the prairies, or at least on the border, because this feels a little Pennsylvania, New York-y, and we're headed your way, so it all makes sense. I got the five miles in, I enjoyed it, but I'm a little bit too sore from that 10 miler. Got me a big jug of delicious smoothie. Gonna drink this and go find Carson. It's getting to the point, guys, like today he told me, he was like, this, I'm not enjoying this. And I had to calm him down and say, Carson, you remember for a year when we were planning this and this was your vision and dream and you were so excited? He was like, yeah, trust me, this kind of experience, you might be in your own hell during it, but the minute you finish and start reflecting on the experiences you had and the trauma you went through and overcoming it, you're gonna realize why you did it and why it was probably one of the best things you've ever done in your life. And so that's one of the role of the, of the crew member. It's not just to, well, one of the roles, it's not just to make smoothies and massage his neck, it's to be his brain, to be his conscience and be like, look, I know you're battling with the demon right now, but you gotta try to find some gratitude in the moment that you're finally doing this thing that was your dream for so long. And smoothies always help him realize that. Well, you're just, you're just... Carson just gave me really good feedback that the smoothies need to be twice as sweet. He's struggling out there, or he's just, he, need, he needs more food, he needs more calories. And your wish is my command. Pumpkin seeds? Yeah, you want some? Whew, tonight's gonna be a late one, but I gotta eat dinner now. Carson still has a lot more to ride, but I gotta eat. What should I make tonight? Getting my spinach on in the middle of Iowa. Uh-huh. Yeah, the city's huge. Yeah, they got a Whole Foods and... We're headed to Des Moines tonight. Carson is training for his riding across America on only lettuce for 2018. It's good training. <laughs> Will he do it? Well, you'll have to find out on the vlog in a year. Just kidding. I don't think I can ever do this again. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. For both of us. And another day stealing internet from the enemy, uploading, editing, and eating dinner. We got a sweet potato that I microwaved, and also black beans, and some chips. Pop chips, put some lettuce in there, kombucha, and I got my hot sauce. I'm a happy man, and I got internet from the enemy. Oh, Baby. After the run, I had my camera there, so I did a little check on what my body looks like right now in life. Because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that month to month, I could look dramatically different. Sometimes I'm super lean um, and super ripped with kind of smaller muscles. Other times I look a lot bigger and bulkier. It's always fluctuating depending on my goals. I'm never consistent with that. And uh, so I checked in, hey, where I'm, where I'm at right now? And I'm really, really happy with where I'm at. I'm like, I got some muscle mass and some thickness, but I also, you know, got a little abs going and I feel good. I feel like I'm eating abundantly, like I'm eating some junky foods, but mainly healthy. And like, I'm happy with how I'm eating. I'm not restricting. And I'm also not working out like crazy. And I want to explain right here exactly what I do to train or I don't, I don't even want to call it train because I'm not really training for anything. I just like to move my body uh, kind of every day. It feels good. Um, and I'm not following anything strict, but I want to tell you everything that I do. 
So what you see in the vlog is that I take runs often. That's because I don't have my bicycle with me now. Um, so this is just during this trip. This isn't like what I do, because usually I'm like bike touring or something. This is just on this trip without a bicycle. I run, let's say four times a week, um, anywhere from five to 10 miles per run. And then throughout the day, what I don't show you is every time I you know park the car and I'm waiting around or something, I'll bust out 20 push-ups. I just do that in random places throughout the day. I probably do anywhere between 60 and 100 push-ups per day scattered throughout the day in 10 to 20 uh, rep sets. Uh, I also maybe once a day or once every other day do a little like five minute ab routine just kind of on my butt you know doing things and lifting my legs just like abs just an any abs that you can look up on uh, YouTube uh, ab workouts so I do a little abs let's say every other day I try to do 50 to 100 push-ups per day scattered throughout and then I run four times a week that's all I'm doing right now I don't lift weights I don't like if I find something I can do a pull up bar, I'll just do it, but it's not like, oh, I have to go work out now. I just fit it in scattered throughout the day so that it's just easy. I don't have to like, it's not gonna drain me entirely. Um, and mentally it's just fun. It's like doing it in little smaller portions. And I used to be so scared of that. I had to like have a focused workout and you do it all to plan. Now I'm just chill. I just like move my body and push myself a little bit whenever I can and I love it and I feel like my body's responding great to it. I'm mentally really good with it because I never, I'm like working out just not on the pedestal it used to be for me and that's very healthy for me. So that's what I do. Uh, no weights right now, no nothing, just running, cycling, and body weight push-ups and abs. Awesome, let's keep it that way. Sometimes I don't know how I can talk so long with food in front of me. Rocking that 11.30 p.m. corn sesh on the side of the road. This is gnarly stuff. Oh my gosh, big city lights. We're in a big city. Got nine miles till we get to the house. I made him a smoothie. He's gonna drink half of it now. This might be, I think, one of the most epic dinner smoothies. Probably the most epic one we've done. It's like eight bananas, like 20 or 30 dates, water, uh, flax seeds, cinnamon, an entire avocado, and carob powder. And you're snacking on pumpkin seeds. That's right there. If you wanna ride raw, across America, this is what you eat. This is like the, and spinach, mm -hmm. and spinach, getting you that, those phytonutrients in, those micronutrients. And we made it to Des Moines, Iowa. It's only 1.38 in the morning. We like left the door open on like the upstairs attic. We're in this like, half broken building, which is awesome. And he left an air mattress for Carson with sheets. I'm gonna sleep on the floor on my thermorest. And look, there are cats. There are cute cats. And there's literally a bunny. What is this place? Hi. Hi. Hi, bunny. We're not even gonna meet our host. I wish we could, but this is like, this is also so cool. Like people are so nice. We just have a place to stay for free because we talk to someone on the internet. I love it. Much love, Dream Extreme. We're literally sleeping two hours. I'm not kidding. I'll get to sleep probably a little bit more after Carson leaves in the morning, but Carson, two hours. Wow, and tomorrow's over 200 mile day, and then we have a rest day. Much love, Dream Extreme. Thank you for supporting us on this journey. This is the hardest thing I've ever done, so I can't imagine how hard it is for Carson. So all the support you guys have been giving us on the generosity page to help us fund this trip, and then to donate to the charity that we're raising money for, to support me on Patreon, it all makes it happen. Like that, it, like, I, I couldn't do without it, unfortunately. Money is important and you guys are supporting us that way through watching, through commenting. I just love you. you. You really do give me the fuel to keep on going. So, peace.